Hi guys! Welcome back and today I'm going to be eating Filipino food for 24 hours! I know in my previous videos I've made Filipino snacks but this time a lot of people have been asking me to make Filipino food instead! So we're going to get right into it right now! Are you ready? Let's go! But first, if you want me to try your country food next time, make sure you give this video a like and comment down where you're from. All right, let's start. Today, I'm going to be eating the most popular Filipino foods. And these are actual dishes. Last time, I tried eating a bunch of Filipino snacks and a lot of you guys have been asking me to eat Filipino foods next. So I made a point to be able to eat them today. My good friend Mena, who, as you know, is from the Philippines, has made me a bunch of these foods. So today we're gonna go try it out and if i'm missing any type of food guys please let me know so i can try next time all right let's start now as you guys know there has been a bunch of cool popular filipino exotic cuisines that i've been meaning to try and some of these include um this such as balut which is known as fertilized duck egg <gasps> Well, I really wanted to try this, but I couldn't get it today. So we're going to try something else. But first, let's read into this. Basically, balut is a Filipino street food consisting of a fertilized duck egg that is inside of an egg. Oh my gosh. It's like you can see the body of the little ducky. And the ducks are fertilized up to 21 days and then boiled whole. Wow. Okay. It must have some sort of crunch, right? The developing duck embryo is usually eaten from the shell accompanied with a spicy vinegar dipping sauce. But... Today, we are going to be eating some popular dishes. And thank you very much. I'm so hungry right now, so I can't wait. Mmm, look at this. Wow. Okay, guys, this is called Philippine adobo. And I'm going to try it right now. Got my little table here. I'm like so hungry. It smells so divine. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to tip it over. There's so much sauce. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so basically, what is adobo? Adobo is a popular Filipino dish. And the cooking process is basically its base form is meat or seafood or vegetables but a lot of people use chicken and pork today i have chicken over here they also marinate it and simmer it in vinegar salt soy sauce and garlic okay i'm so excited i got my little tissue here i'm gonna try it out right now okay this looks kind of off but who cares it's food i love food oh my gosh this is my first time trying filipino food guys here we have the marinated sauce and the chicken i'm gonna take a bite Ooh. Ooh, wow, look at that. Wow, it smells amazing, guys. Like, I, I wish you guys could smell it through the screen, but it smells so good. Okay, here's a bit of the chicken skin. Mmm, wow. Mmm, oh gosh, it's so good. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh, wow. There's like this vinegary taste, and it's a little bit sweet and salty at the same time. So the combination of it together tastes really good. I'm really impressed. And by the way, this is my first time trying this. This would taste so good with rice together. And there's another onion. It's also marinated, so let's see how it tastes. It's really crunchy. I like how a lot of the meat is like almost falling apart, you would say. And it's really soft. Their skin is amazing. So I actually didn't know about this, guys. Adobo, it's the national dish of Philippines. Wow. And it's made mainly with chicken thigh and not chicken breast because it kind of has a better kick, I think, and it's not so tough. I can't help myself. I just want to keep having more. There's no way you can top this. I mean, like, wow. This is my first time having Filipino food and this just blew me away already. Okay, water break. Ah, you gotta cleanse that palate before you move on to the next item. Okay, next dish. Before we move on to the next dish, let's read up some more stuff about Filipino food. Isa, skewered pork intestine. <gasps> what? Isa is skewered and grilled pork intestine. Sometimes it's chicken and it's a Filipino street hmm. food favorite. To make Isa, the intestines are thoroughly clean, boiled, skewered on barbecue sticks and then grilled to eat. The skewers are best enjoyed with tip of soy sauce or spice vinegar before taking a bite. Hmm, seems like there's a lot of spice vinegar. Like the previous dish, adobo, also was marinated in spice vinegar. And you know what? I love vinegar. I love my food sour. So I really want to try this. Guys, like this video if you want me to visit the Philippines so I can try this next time on the streets. But first, let's move on to our next dish. 
So our next dish is called sinigang or sinigang. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but here it is. Oh, ta-da! Wow, look at that. It's basically like a it's a soup dish, I think. I'm gonna spill. Look at that. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, there's so many items in this soup. Like I thought soup would usually just be like plain, but this is like a whole meal. What? Okay, let's see what this is. Sinigang is a Filipino soup characterized by its sour and oh, sour again, yes! Sour and savory taste. It's most associated with tamarind, although it could be other sour fruits. Fruits? It is one of the most popular dishes in Filipino cuisines. Wow, wait, 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 what's inside? Okay, I gotta look at the ingredients. So there's seafood, beef, shrimp, and usually you can add a bunch of other stuff. Let me see, let me see. Lady's finger. I'm just gonna use my hand. My hand is clean, by the way. They're so crunchy. Did you know that Filipinos eat with their hands? Like a lot of them do eat with their hands. So they say it's like, it adds on to the flavor. So that was really good. We have this. I'm not too sure what this is. Hmm, let's just try. It's eggplant. Hmm, it's pretty good. And there's a lot of peas in here as well. Look at that. Ooh. And there's also shrimp, which is seafood. Let me try the soup first because this is about to spill. Ooh. This is really addictive. And, okay, the peas over here. A lot of people don't like peas, but I love my veggies, so give it in. It's so well marinated. Hmm, I love this dish and it tastes so healthy. I love it. This dish is amazing. Wait, oh, I forgot to read the previous dish. Oh, let me remind back. Okay, that dish for adobo, I'm gonna give it like an eight because the flavors were so powerful. It's kind of like one of those dishes where you just take one bite and you're like, wow, this is so good. But if you take more than like 30 bites, you might get kind of full really quickly. So I'll get that an eight and I love love soup so i'm giving this an 8.5 also the shrimp so I'll try this shrimp out we're gonna see if this shrimp is like fresh or not so for the bit of shrimp whoa okay just pluck out the head it's pretty good mm, i love my seafood this is so good i love seafood so much guys comment down below if you love seafood too a few minutes later Ta -da! dip it in a little bit of soup and let's eat this is so good. Okay, I'm done with this dish. And you know what? I have another bowl. Ta-da! Basically, it's the same thing, but it's just soup. It's just soup of sinigang, right? It's masarap. Is it, is it correct? It means yummy in the Philippines, right? Masarap. I'm gonna save this for later. All right, let's move on. You guys know what Chinese ABC soup is like? It basically tastes really similar to that. The sour version of ABC soup. Okay, now we're gonna have a break. A lot of Filipinos love drinking tea as accompanying their food. So I have some nice tea. So let's try it. Guys, are you a tea or coffee drinker? Comment down below if you are a tea or coffee drinker. All right, the next famous cuisine, this one is really weird and funky. It's called abuo, aka ant eggs. What? Okay, so this dish contains ant eggs. Oh, what? I've never heard of this before. It can be found in a variety of cuisines around the world. So it's not specifically an exotic food just for the Philippines. Okay, having them cook adobo style is very specific. While the Filipino twist makes it flavorful, you can also eat abuos, sauteed and garlic, or just raw. Raw? What? So basically, the end eggs are buttery and have a nutty flavor with a soft texture. <laughs> I wouldn't mind just trying, actually. They even have adobong kamaru, which are called mo crickets. Guys, have you tried these before? I'm curious. If you're from the Philippines, are these really common? I'm just wondering. Apparently, abodong kamaru mo crickets, they are typically made in adobo dishes. So, oh, oh my gosh. Maybe in this dish, they have some of them. Do, do I see it? I don't really see it, see it though. Next dish, and this is like a whole meal. All right, ta-da! So, this dish called bang si log. We have some rice over here, and then we have some fish over here. Mm -hmm. It's like part of the fish head and everything. Have some egg, some cucumber, and this is a tomato. So, this dish is short for the combination of milk fish. What? Is this a milk fish? Sinagang, which is fried rice. Oh, the fried rice looks really different. Look at it, guys. And also, pritong itlong, which is fried egg. Yum. This is a really popular staple dish, if I'm not wrong, in the Philippines. And, oh, this is a traditional breakfast. Oh, do people eat this for breakfast? That is so interesting. Wow. All right, let's try the rice first. It's fried rice. It's not normal rice, okay, guys? It's fried. Wow. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, 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 yo, 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 yo. There's so much flavors to the rice. What? A burst of flavors in your mouth? This is basically fried onion and garlic mixed together with buttery rice, if I'm not wrong. Here you go. Some nice egg yolk. And then let's eat it with the rice. A bit of the rice. I think this is how they do it. And then I'm just gonna put it in my mouth. <laughs> Do people really eat this for breakfast in the Philippines? This is like a whole meal. Like, I usually just eat bread. Bread and just oatmeal and like maybe a banana. But this is whole meal for breakfast. It's so nice. All right, let me try the fish. Let me show you what the fish looks like first. Ta-da! It's a whole fish. It's so much. This is milk fish, as they call it. Oh, look at the meat. Wow. Look at that. Can you see that? Ooh. Mmm. Guys, comment down below what other food I should try next time. And from which country? Wait, is this the fish eye? Oh my gosh, it came out. The fish ball, eyeball. Should I eat it? It's supposed to be good for your brain if you eat the fish eye. So, okay, I'm eating it. It tastes kind of like fish, but not really. It tastes more like fish. Oh, wait a second. That wasn't the, was that the fish? It was. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is the remains. Oh my gosh, okay, the remains do look kind of scary. Look, look! Okay. Oh, oh, it's so bitter! Oh my god, this is the fish eye. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, it has a really strong pungent smell to it. I rate this a 7.5. I actually really, really, really like the rice. And the fish is pretty good. It's just a tiny bit tough, but the flavors are amazing. I can see how this complements each other. Like with the egg, with the salad, aka cucumber and tomato complements the rice which is kind of strong and smells really good and also the fish which is quite flavorful so i really like this dish i probably eat this once a week this is really good 7.5 next dish before we move on let's read another item from the philippines that's really popular it is called beta max it's congealed chicken or pork blood what they're like pork cubes oh i heard of these a lot of countries have these but oh this is a popular street food in the philippines it's called beta max and it's Oh, is it beta max? I, I don't know how you guys pronounce it. It's served on a, gr a stick and grilled. In variation, the meat is congealed chicken or pork blood and cut into cubes in dipping sauce. This is what it looks like, guys. So, beta max gets its name from the cassette tape. Oh, I see. So, if they're block shaped, they kind of look the same. So, they just call it beta. And then I don't know why it's called max. I don't mind trying this. Like, weird, weird items like this really get me, like, really curious as to what they actually taste like. So, wait a second. I just saw another uh, one. It's called Adidas. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait. In the Philippines, they have a dish called Adidas, which is chicken feet. Wait, isn't Adidas the shoe or something? Huh? Adidas are a tongue-in-cheek name. Okay. For chicken feet in the Philippines. As far as exotic foods go, chicken feet are surprisingly common in a few cultures. So seeing this with a Filipino twist of being skewered, marinated, and grilled is not surprising. Ooh, chicken feet. Guys, would you try this out? And have you tried this before? This is so interesting. Wow. I wonder what it tastes like. Now, to my last dish, aka dessert, is this one. Ta-da! I'm sure a lot of you guys know what this is. Ba -ba! It's kind of melting. Look at all the water dripping. It's called Halo Halo. Well, like, hello, hello, but hello, hello. Also spelled as halu halo. It is a mixed popular cold dessert in the Philippines that is made up with crushed ice, which is melted. <laughs> There's still a bit left as you can see. And uh, evaporated milk or coconut milk. And sometimes sweet potato, mung beans, yam, ice cream, shaved ice, and coconut. Wow, this looks amazing. Okay, okay, I have my unique straw here. I don't know if it's thin enough. Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, I just saw some like purple stuff that, that must be yam right oh, oh, oh guys check this out wow look at the colors it's so beautiful <laughs> this is actually pretty sweet i'm thinking this is the purple one is probably taro and then we have sweet potato here which is the orange one guys apparently it's called halo halo because halo halo means mixed let me show you what it looks like on the inside wow there's so much going on there's so much what is what is this it's pudding hmm this is so refreshing I do quite like it. 
It's a bit sweet, but very refreshing on like a hot day. So this is pretty good. I'm gonna give this a 7.5, maybe an 8 on a hot day. It's not too hot today, so this is really good. I can see myself drinking this instead of bubble tea <laughs> after every meal. So I quite like this. All right, 7.5 it is to 8. Next. Okay, guys, now it's time for dinner. I mean, it's only like around 5, 5.30, but I'm hungry and I want some Filipino food, which is some Jollibee. <gasps> I've never had this before, so here we are, Jollibee! Apparently, this is popular. Really, really popular. I'm kind of ashamed for not trying it sooner. So here we are. The first one. Okay, this is what it says. Crispy, juicy chicken joy. And it smells so good. Let me open it up. What? Wait, this is the spaghetti. The infamous spaghetti. And there's the chicken. And there's some gravy. Right, let me get some forks over here. They also give a lot of like tomato ketchup, which I'm very happy for. Because a lot of people don't. So, here we go. Let's try. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is not a promotion for Jollibee. I'm just trying it out because I've never tried Jollibee before. I thought it was like just normal spaghetti, but it looks really good. Ready? Ready? Let's try. Wow, the spaghetti is pretty good. Okay, wow. This one is like better than I expected. I thought it was just plain spaghetti, but the sauce is really powering. All right, the next one is the gravy sauce, the famous gravy sauce. I'm gonna pour it on the chicken. Wait, it's supposed to be on the chicken, right? Gravy on chicken, will you look at that? Wow, this is like chicken wing. Mm, this looks so good. All right, here goes. One big bite, ready? The gravy is so juicy. How would I compare this with? Would I compare this with KFC? I think I like this better because KFC is kind of oily. It's much lighter and the gravy is really nice. So I approve. I will give this a 7.5 and the chicken a 7.3 <laughs> because fried chicken all kind of tastes around the same thing. I, I changed my mind. I really like the spaghetti. It, it makes me want seconds. So I'm going to give this an 8 and this one a 7.5. So this one is the famous burger steak. What is that? It's literally a steak. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's like a meat patty with a lot of gravy and that's mushroom, I think. And I don't know what this is. Is this rice? It's rice! Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. It's wrapped rice. Right. Okay, it's not a wrapped burger. It's wrapped rice. Interesting. Wow. All right, let's try this. And apparently you're supposed to eat this together. Rice with burger. It's not that uncommon. A lot of people in Japan eat their like, food like this. So, okay, let me have a piece of the burger. Mmm, and this is the mushroom. Very unique. This is my first time seeing like a restaurant like this serve just steak and rice and some mushrooms. So I would say it is pretty unique and it is much, much healthier than other junk food. Hmm. I approve. I'll give this like a 7.2 because it is pretty healthy. Um, I could see myself eating this. It kind of feels like a home cooked meal. So approve. Next, the infamous. Crispy, juicy, chicken joy tenders, I think. Is it this one? Let me see. Ooh, it is, look. So chicken tenders and it has like a white mustard or something on it. So let's open this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's really strong. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of strong. Hopefully this isn't too spicy because my spice tolerance is horrible. Ready? Let's have a bite. Cheers. Mm, wait. Just like garlic mayo sauce or something. This is really good. And the chicken is really soft. So 7.8 to 8. Mm -hmm. Next is the famous Jolly Chicken Sausage. Mm -hmm. What is that? There's so much sauce. Is that cheese? You can't really go wrong with cheese. So bon appetit. Um, here it goes. Mmm, pretty sure I don't really like this, but I'm not the biggest fan of sausage, so I'm gonna give this a 7. It is too nice though. Kind of tastes like IKEA sausage, but upgraded. Still approved. It's pretty good as a snack, so next. We have the infamous burger. It's called a cheese yum burger. It's supposed to be yummy, that's why it's called yum burger. Alright, let's see. Let's see the difference between this and like McDonald's. Oh, ooh. There's a lot much more sauce and the patty is much flatter, but... We'll see what it's like. Maybe it's a lot of cheese, I think. It's kind of sweet. It's, it's kind of like mayo. I quite like this. To my surprise, this is pretty good. The only flaw is that there's no tomatoes or lettuce. It's just, it's literally just burger, cheese, and sauce. But it is pretty yummy, so I'm gonna give this a seven as well. It's yummy, but it's lacking. And now, I'm really excited for the pie. So, here's the pie, and this pie is a peach mango pie. I love pie, oh my gosh. So far, with the Jolly Bee items, the spaghetti is winning, but let's see how good this pie is. Ooh, so ooh, it's really crusty. It's kind of like McDonald's pie, but hmm, looks kind of different, don't you think? Ready? 
This is so good. This is an eight. This is an eight for me. This is really good. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> Maybe it's my own preference, but I really like the pie. I really like the spaghetti. Um, the others were pretty good, but they don't beat the traditional Filipino food. That's all I have to say. Like the, the adobo and the soup, that was amazing. Blew me away. All right, let me see what Aaron thinks about the food. Hey guys, I have Aaron here and he's going to be trying the fast food. So Aaron, try this one. This is Ooh. called the yum burger. Yum burger. Because it's yummy. So mm, yummy. It? It's, really? Do you mm, like yummy. it? How much do you rate this yum burger? There is no veggie inside though. Yeah. Or tomato That's or lettuce. Part. I like veggies. I should say solid seven. Oh, okay, okay. I rated it a 7.2. Oh. It is quite yummy though. Now the next one is the steak. Ta-da! Look, it's rice steak. with steak. Yeah. Rice and steak? <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. Creative. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this rice. I don't know any of like other restaurants that do that. Yeah. This... Other fast food restaurants okay. that actually do that. Okay, some of the... There's mushroom too. Mmm. What do you think? I think it's like seven. Okay. And the next one is ta da! Oh. This is their famous one, which is the pasta and the chicken. Ooh. So the pasta comes with like its famous pasta Ooh, sauce. Ooh, so much sauce. Let me mix it. So, what do you think of the pasta? Mm, 10. What? Yeah, 10? 10. <gasps> what? That's so high. Wow. I mean, I rated it an eight, but. And the chicken? Wow, this is so much better. I'm not gonna say better than what, but it's, I think it's 10. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, this really is good. their signature. Oh my gosh, yo! <laughs> This is the Yo, I've been living under a rock. What is so good? I know, we've never tried Jolly Bee before. Mm. Now, their famous sausage. Have a bite. It comes mm. with a lot of sauce though, and a lot of cheese, I, I noticed. Mmm, I love goodies. Nine? Not as good as the uh, pasta, that's for sure. What, nine? I read it, read it like pasta. seven point something. Wow. Okay, I next. I really like goodies. <laughs> now, next is their tenders. Mm. Chicken tenders, and it has like the unique uh, garlic mayo sauce or something. I don't know what sauce that is. Is it spicy? Oh, it, is, it has a kick though. Though. To my surprise, it has a mm. kick. This is really good. Yeah, I agree. Mm. This is really good. This is a 10. It's quite soft too. This is a 10. Really? Yeah, 10? A 10. Mm. Oh, wow. Automatic 10. Okay, the oh last gosh, one. So good. <laughs> the last one is their famous peach mango pie. I know you don't really like dessert, but try this one. Huh? Mm, what pie is this? Peach? Peach mango. Mmm, wow. By the way, Aaron doesn't usually eat pies. So, 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 leave some for me. Oh, leave some uh, for me. I don't really like dessert, but it's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a nine. Whoa, no, 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 wait. Mm. Yeah, a nine. Good dessert. I don't really like dessert. You're so, you're so generous with your rating. Well, guys, I guess we'll be having more Jollibee. So, if you want us to try other food, let us know in the comments. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.